playoff edition. Oh, wow. uh, afternoon headlines sponsored by Ram Trucks. They are built to serve. Aaron Rodgers met with the media at the conclusion of the Jets season and said everyone needed to focus and eliminate distractions. True story. Take a listen. <laughs> if you want to be a winning organization, you have to put yourself in position to win championships and be competitive. Everything that you do matters. And the that has nothing to do with winning needs to get out of the building. So that'll be the focus uh, moving forward. Makes sense. Uh, also today on the Pat McAfee show, he attempted to clarify his feud with a late night comedian and the former head of the National Institute of Health. Yeah. So, uh, there. I just, I listen, I, the, today, the, the, this is not an exaggeration. This is what happened. Yesterday, he said those things. Mm -hmm. And today, for 27 consecutive minutes, he talked about the Epstein list, Jimmy Kimmel, and relitigated COVID protocols from three years ago. That's what he did. And uh, Pat, poor Pat McAfee, and I appreciate the shout out, Pat, uh, got to ask two questions in that time, and he just ranted. And there is a level of a lack of either awareness or it's either a lack of awareness but Aaron also explained using really good vocabulary today. You know what I mean? That he's a sharp, well-read guy. So I don't think it's a lack of intelligence. So I think more likely a belief of do as I say, not as I do, of course. Like I, the things I say and I do in the interviews I give and the stories that leak out of the building about my one-handed interceptions as the scout team, those are positive. And those are good because they're about me. And then everything else is negative and bad. And so I just don't. I, it, he's a very, very hard person to take seriously on these things. And I don't think he is the best. I don't think I would be the best person to, you know, give a quote to a newspaper about talk show hosts need to be, you know, more humble and less full of themselves. I just <laughs> I think it would there would be better messengers for that. And so I just don't buy it. Yeah. Well, it, it just sounds crazy coming from him because he is the one that creates all these distractions and I would like look he can do what he wants but what would be a great move for him and you guys know I was saying all year that I thought him working so hard to get back even if it was whether it was selfish whether it was unrealistic whatever I thought it would inspire his teammates yep. and, he make, and they gave him award. the award yep. for most inspiring teammates so that's great that was fine you weren't playing Next year, you know what I think Greg would inspire his teammates? If he said, no, no weekly TV shows this week, this year. I'm, I'll do my press conferences that I have to do, but I am all about football. I'm not talking about the other stuff on the air. You know, they can talk about it with other teammates in the locker room if he wants, whatever. But on the air, no distractions because that stuff can be a distraction. It's all about football this year. Let's go win the Super Bowl. And that goes to the point of you, to what you're making about his lack of awareness at times. It's like – He's not he's not the exception, but he believes that he is. And when you think when you listen to Aaron Rodgers, like he he has he has it figured out for everyone but himself. Because he believes that he is he's figured it out for himself. And it's like, dude, you really haven't. Like and 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 I I I really try to hold back on having this conversation about Aaron because because of the way I exited Green Bay and the mm. things that I said. But I will say this. You, you find out who a person is when they show you who they are. And then you look at everything that happened prior to seeing that differently. For me, that was when we were on the football field and we were playing in a week one game. And he comes up after on the timeout and he talks to an opponent and says, hey, man, you guys should come get Greg. I'm in a contract year. Now, you my guy. And I'm like, oh, say it again. I'm, 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 oh, yeah, timeout. yeah, what yeah. This, I'm in a contract I year. We're playing the 49ers. Yeah. Timeout's happening. And I'm talking to Carlos Rogers, a cornerback. And he's like, man, why do you got you running these routes? Aaron Rodgers comes up and said, hey, man, you guys should come and get him. What? Mm. You are my guy. You know I want to stay here. You know I want to be here. Now, I'm not trying to relive and rehash all these things. But in that moment, he showed me who he was. And so from that moment, everything that happened prior to, I looked at differently. Everything that happened afterwards, I looked at differently. Because now I know who you are. You were selfish. You were, you were sending me or offering me up. 
I'm I'm supposed to be your guy. I was, and and again, I'm not disgruntled. No, so I was th- I was very bothered in that moment mm-hmm. in that season of life. I'm far beyond that. But when I hear things like this, it's like here we go again. So this is what I this is what I oh, yeah. find so frustrating about some of this conversation is because Aaron seems, and up to and including today, really, really caught up in a lot of the COVID and vaccine stuff. He seems really wounded by how he feels he was painted by a lot of the media, fairly or unfairly, it seems what he feels. There is, he has done, I think, a masterful job of crafting a narrative that the only people who criticize him have ulterior motives. He has gone after you, yep. and it is. By, and I have seen. I know you well enough. We've talked enough off the air. You, Greg, has been kinder <laughs> and more gentle about the Rodgers thing because Rodgers, I think, has done a pretty good job of tarring you as ah, a bitter ex. Yep. And then those of us who actually had been, like myself, a pretty ardent supporter of his on the field who then turned critical of some of the disingenuous or dishonest or reckless comments, tarred as, oh, you're just obsessed with the vaccine status. Mm. And so it, 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 it inoculates him, pun very intended, from <laughs> criticism. Because, oh, no, no, you can't criticize me on the merits. It's personal mm. for you, which is a very, it's an effective debate strategy, I will admit. But it, it is, the word I'm certain, it's disingenuous is what it is. People would say just because I was a Patriots fan is the reason I kept on bringing up the fact that he hadn't thrown for 300 yards. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a fact. Mac Jones had. <laughs> 24 games, a long time. <laughs> it was the only day. I'm the only one that's saying, you know what? New We're the music. New Fox playoff music? Yeah, that's brand that's new. That's awesome. I just composed that's that. Proof. Wonderful third quarter, Suns Clippers. KD gets stripped. And then decides to complain to the ref and says, you know what? I might as well block Norm Powell. Clippers win. The great block. Brew, Brew's back. 23 and 13. Brew's They're 7 and 3 out. in their last 10, and they are now in fourth place. Are you back into believing in the Clippers? When did I release? What? <laughs> <laughs> go Clips! Uh, yeah, I know. And there we go. We are back. We're early in Michigan, Washington. Donovan Edwards gone. Michigan wins this one 34-13. Greg Jennings told me yesterday to place a sizable bet oh. on Washington because no. it might be a blowout. He's a Michigan no, man. A Michigan he never But Greg, he I took that to the bank. Washington a, stuff, I, don't, I never heard that. He Greg. thought he and I had game. Michigan the well, whole Well, check my FanDuel account. It's not pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I, did, I did the Washington blowout, Greg. <laughs> Darn it. Weird. <laughs> game online, Pacers Celtics. Initially called a foul. Uh, then overturned to a clean block. Jalen Brown not happy. Celtics lose. Pacers that win. That was really clean, right? And well, then there was well, another well, controversial one. Well, not this great. Is weird. That was uh, okay. Halliburton there, avoids but... a serious injury, but he's going to be out for a while. Uh, that's weird and wonderful <laughs> from the God national pastime. Tyreek's legs, most dangerous weapon in football. Hands up for debate. Uh, week seven drop against the Eagles. Week nine in Germany, he coughs this one up. Chiefs win.